Well, g'day Couch Critics, it's Brad here. No Samuel today, uh, but hopefully we'll be back in the next one. Thanks for joining us in our latest episode. It's been a bit over a week since we released a video. We were actually planning to drop uh, a video rating the A-League away kits for this upcoming season. But unfortunately, uh, about you know 25 minutes of recording, I sit down to edit it that night and I realized the microphone wasn't put in properly, so lo and behold, there was no sound in that video. So we're gonna have to completely refilm that video. Hopefully uh, you'll be able to see it in a couple of weeks. Uh, it's a really good one. Uh, we go through all the 12 clubs as we do. As we do. So stick around for that one. But today, I'm just going to be overviewing all the 12 A-League clubs and their membership packages. I'm not going to go over all of them because we ain't got time for that. What we're going to go over is just their general admission ones and for the, uh, for the adults. We could compare concession and children, all kind of that, but we're going to keep it simple. So general admission, adults only, and all the clubs. And we won't be going over the active support. So some clubs have cheaper active supports than general admission. But general admission is probably just the most simple kind of membership you, package you're looking at if you're trying to get into the A-League and um, start supporting your local team. Now, as we do when we review all our clubs, we start with Adelaide United. Now, their cheapest package is a uh, $259 one. It's called the Red Membership Package. It is a general admission one. It'll get you to all their home games, like every general admission package should. Um, and you get a choice between either sitting behind the northern or the southern goals. So, you know, right behind the action in the goals, um, you'd be hoping to see a fair few goals. Both ends, though, I don't think have a covering over it. So it might get a bit hot in summer, rainy day, might be a bit wet. But yeah, let's move on to the next club. Now, we're looking at uh, Brisbane Raw now. It's $215 to get a full season general admission ticket. It's also the same price to get a membership into the Den, which is the active support area, but we're just going to focus on the general admission. That'll get you all 13 games up at Dolphin Stadium in Redcliffe. So obviously they're not playing at Suncorp Stadium once again this season. So a smaller capacity, and it's, uh, it's, it's, gone, it's undergone a fair bit of um, development uh, in the past couple of years, but it still was nothing like Suncorp. Suncorp was pretty well covered. Uh, great facilities, but obviously Brisbane Raw won't are filling it up that often, so they moved to Dolphin Stadium. So some of the area isn't fully covered, so expect, you know, in a bit more tropical environment, it could be a bit more wet and you might uh, not be as dry as you would like in a Brisbane game. Now moving on to the Central Coast Mariners, who play out of the Central Coast Stadium. It's a, it's a picturesque area. I've, I've been there on one occasion. It's a great setting right next to the waters there. Uh, a full season membership package will set you back $210. That's the cheapest general admission one. Um, and that's called the yellow package. Uh, it's actually quite close. It you know, can actually mix in there with the yellow army, but you get a choice of a seat um, in the Northern Stand. Uh, like I said, it's a fantastic ground. $210 for 13 games up there on the Central Coast. If you're a local, get around it, support your club. It's one of, one of the great and most iconic A-League grounds. Now we move on to the newest club in the competition, MacArthur FC. A uh, lot's been going on at uh, MacArthur in the off-season. But one thing we can say about their cheapest general admission ticket is it's great. $199. Uh, what it'll get you is a seat. Uh, there's some seats right close to behind the goals and either end. There's a lot of hills as well behind both ends. And you can either sit on the hill or hit on, sit on one of those seats. So if you're someone who likes going to the football, um, and likes to relax in the grass. Uh, this is a fairly good membership. Now, I'm someone who doesn't really like sitting on the grass. When I go to the football, I want to be sitting on a seat. So it wouldn't necessarily be my cup of tea. Um, but yeah, that's good value. I know that a lot's been said about the cost for away fans uh, attending MacArthur FC. And I think those, those criticisms have been fair enough. But for a home fan, it's really good value. Melbourne City, the next team on the list here, our reigning A-League champ men champions. A full general admission ticket will set you back $198. And once again, uh, there's only a few clubs that go under the $200 price range. And for the reigning premiers, still heading into the upcoming season, they still look to have prob probably the best team on paper. This is uh, great value uh, from Melbourne City. Uh, being a general uh, admission uh, ticket, Ticket holder will get you a seat anywhere in the general admission zone at uh, Amy Park. 
And you also have uh, an exclusive opportunity to upgrade a reserve seat uh, for the big game against Melbourne Victory. And speaking of Melbourne Victory, that's the next team we're looking at. Now their general admission uh, ticket is a bit more uh, than their local rivals. It's $276. It gives you the ability to sit uh, with friends and the family in all the general admission base. So very similar to City, but obviously there's almost an $80 price difference there. Now, is it good value? Well, I mean, if you're a neutral, you're looking to get into the A-League and you want to choose between City and Victory, well, City are the reigning premiers, and it's a lot cheaper uh, to get a season tickets. Now, we move on now to the Newcastle Jets, and by far, they've got the cheapest general admission ticket, $185 for 13 games at the Hunter Stadium. You get the option uh, to sit either on the north and all the southern hills behind the goals. So Newcastle, much like Campbelltown Stadium, there's a fair bit of green uh, behind the goals. And if you enjoy sitting on the grass, uh, some good options there. But Newcastle Jets didn't enjoy a very good season last year. There was, a, there was a lot going on in the lead up to last season that wasn't particularly good for the Jets. But, you know, if you live up there in Newcastle or a bit around the north coast, so you can get to a game, you want to get involved. This is a really good deal. I think Newcastle have proved a lot in the offseason. I don't think they'll come second last. I think they'll have a much better season. When they crack the finals, maybe. Make sure you tune into our season preview video. I'll get my full opinion on Newcastle and all the other clubs. But yeah, Newcastle Jets, our cheapest season ticket. And now we've got polar opposites. So we talked about the cheapest ticket. Now we're talking about the most expensive season ticket. And by far and large, it's Perth Glory, who seem to have had, uh, for a long time, probably the most expensive tickets in the A-League. A general admission ticket um, under their silver package is going to set you back $355. And so that's for an unreserved uh, seat. Um, and that includes the north, south, and upper tier of the eastern stand. Now, yeah, like we, we talked about the Jets, they were about 185 and we've gone up, pushing almost double the price for Perth Glory. Um, is it justified? Not sure about it. It's, it's, it's a lot of money and if you're trying to get into the sport in WA, the price could uh, really deter you uh, if you want to get a general admission season ticket. Obviously, Daniel Sturridge will be playing. He'll be a massive draw card for Perth Glory this year. So there'll be a lot of people at the game, hopefully, to see him play. A good atmosphere. But yeah, really steep price there from Perth Glory. Our next team, Sydney FC. Uh, probably a bit more towards the more expensive end. Uh, nowhere near Perth Glory, though. A season ticket, $270. Now, the, the cheapest package is one that they're calling the bronze package. I tried to go into it and learn a bit more about it. But they want me to put in my email and, um, yeah, boys, I'm not giving you anything. Wellington Phoenix, uh, we only found out in recent days they're going to be playing their games at uh, the Wollongong Showground, where they played last season. So they haven't finalised any kind of membership uh, packages, but hopefully they'll be uh, fairly cheap and it probably won't be a full season uh, membership anyway because they'll be obviously looking to play games back in New Zealand. So it might be like a three, four game membership, but... We'll find out more, hopefully, in the coming weeks uh, what the deal is with Wellington Phoenix. Now we move on to the Western Sydney Wanderers. They play out the Combank Stadium, recently renamed uh, from Bankwest. Now there are some varying prices for their cheapest membership. Now for a brand new person that's looking to sign up to become a member of the club for the first time, it's going to set you back $250. But there is a bit of a reward for people that have been members for quite a while. You can, if you're a renewing member, you can pay $230 for it. Or if you've been a foundation member, you've been there since day one, 10 years ago, it'll cost you $220. So that's $30 cheaper than being a brand new member. So a good little uh, incentive to remain a member and you get a few discounts there along the way. It's probably, uh, it's probably medium price range, I would say, uh, when you compare the most expensive clubs and the cheapest clubs. Um, so with this package, which they're calling the white and black uh, package, uh, you, get, you get to be quite close to the atmosphere, you get to go in the family zone, in the general emission areas, and having been to the stadium a few times, it's really hard to get a bad seat, because there isn't any bad seats. Whether you're behind the goals, up in the second tier, it's always a good sight, wherever you are in the stadium. Now lastly, West United, they're going to be playing at quite a few grounds throughout the season. 
Um, they're very publicised about uh, being a bit of a, a bit of a circus. So much they travel. Uh, they'll be playing games at Geelong. They'll be playing games at Amy Park in Melbourne. They'll be playing at Ballarat, and they'll be playing at Launceston. Uh, but if you sign up for their general admission package, it's going to cost you two hundred forty-four dollars. You're going to be able to get uh, tickets for all those games, all thirteen games, no matter where they are. And a nice little thing is that uh, with that membership, you also get an extra two tickets. So one ticket will get you to an away game against Melbourne City, and another ticket will get you to an away game of uh, Melbourne Victory. So all in all, you're getting 15 games out of it. So it's not a bad package, uh, not at all. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, it's still not one of our cheapest, but it's probably around that middle price range, similar to uh, the Wanderers. Um, but yeah, it, it would be particularly difficult um, if you're a Western United fan to commit to all 13 games. You know, you might be based in Melbourne, but you know, Geelong's not too far away, but Ballarat might be a bit of... Especially Tasmania's uh, the big one, you know. It's, it's a bit of travelling, um, which is, makes them a very unique club out of all the other, other teams in the league. Like, I think all the other teams play at just one venue. Oh, Sydney FC will probably alternate between Cogra and Leichhardt, maybe. But yeah, it's you got you got to factor in the travel with this kind of membership because it's not going to be going to the same ground every week. Well, thank you guys. That wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to all the support uh, we've had on this channel, the likes, all the views. It's really been incredible to see how far our little channel has gone in the past year. We're only a few weeks away from the A-League kicking off and we're, we're about at 370 subscribers at the last time I checked and we're getting really close to 400 and Samuel and I would love it if we could crack 400 by the start of the season. We've got a lot more content coming out in the next few weeks. I won't go into too much details because I want it to be a bit of a surprise. Um, but of course our season preview will be coming out. I'll actually be going to a few games in the next fortnight or so. Um, international games and FFA Cup games. That's really exciting. So I'll be doing a few vlogs for that. And Samuel's got some tactical kind of videos he's going to be sharing with us. So make sure you are subscribed so you will be notified when those videos come out. So thanks for your support as always and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.